From overcrowded parking to late night parties, Long Beach residents have opinions about short-term rentals, and at a recent community workshop, those opinions took center stage. This is our second community meeting to talk about short-term rentals. At the first community meeting, we got a lot of feedback, and so today we're gonna to review some of that feedback and then have folks give it kind of like thumbs up, thumbs down, I agree, don't agree. The responses range from quality of life complaints, like increased noise and litter, to concerns about even further reducing the already limited housing stock in Long Beach. But many of the estimated 1,500 short-term rental hosts in Long Beach who depend on this property income believe those issues can be managed while benefiting the city. This meeting has a big impact on our lives. Uh, it's, it's how we've been able to afford our home in Long Beach. I'd like to see common sense regulation that addresses the fact that short-term rentals are a reality, but we should have reasonable regulations to ensure that, you know, guests aren't unruly and allowed to sort of take over a city or take over a neighborhood. Oftentimes when cities are looking at regulating short-term rentals, it's really key to have short-term rental platforms and representatives of the host community as part of that conversation um, so that the, the rules that end up being developed are fair, are reasonable, address the concerns, but also continue to support the economic opportunity that short-term rentals bring to a, a community. Along with the community responses and reports from stakeholders, city staff also presented case studies that looked at short-term rentals in San Francisco, Santa Monica, Newport Beach, and Sacramento. Each case study offered ideas for hosted versus unhosted STRs, permit fees, geographic limitations, and transient occupancy tax structures. It's really important that we hear from every potential corner of the community, anybody that might be affected by this uh, potential ordinance. I think we feel that the, the feedback we've gotten so far has been extremely positive and will be helpful in, in kind of framing how far the ordinance should go to regulate these types of uses. The feedback and review process continues with a third public review meeting scheduled for 6 p.m. Wednesday, October 10th at the Expo Arts Building. To see all the data, maps, case studies, and community response so far, visit the short-term rental information page at the website on your screen.